incredible, isn't it? I mean, it's the first deal of its kind, $4 billion in infrastructure development between Adnoc, that's of course Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, as well as KKR, and uh, BlackRock. And I think it's really interesting. I mean, these two guys, uh, Henry Kravis and Larry Fink, have been coming out to the Middle East, particularly to the UAE for years now, Frankly, they were telling me before I was born, before you were born. So frankly, I think it's really interesting that finally they're coming to the region and doing something very, very concrete in terms of finding that local partner and going in for a long-term investment. Let's take a listen now to what Dr. Sultan al Jabbar had to say. It has been a very uh, rigorous uh, exercise. We started this whole uh, transaction by uh, engaging with uh, more than 10 uh, potential interested uh, parties, we were able uh, to achieve a very good uh, and fair valuation for this piece of infrastructure represented by uh, these pipelines. Uh, we will not stop here. This is only uh, a step in the right direction, and we will soon be uh, unfolding and communicating to the world many more uh, other similar investment opportunities. Dr. Sultan al Jabbar there, he's the CEO of Adnoc, essentially saying this is the first deal of its kind in the region. They want to make this kind of a proxy for further and future foreign direct investment in the region. Now, I had the chance also, as you know, Jamana, to catch up with Larry Fink on the sidelines of this deal. We talked not just about the opportunities for BlackRock in the Middle East, whether it be in the UAE or Saudi Arabia, but we also talked about the U.S.-China trade spat and whether he anticipates a deal is forthcoming. Take a listen. As China reduces its trade deficit with the United States, the likelihood of them reducing the need to own U.S. Treasuries are large. And so over the next few years, and this is something we aren't not talking about enough and we need to be, we need to be talking about this, we should expect over the number of years ahead less ownership of U.S. Treasuries as, their defi as the deficits shrink. But at that time, that's the same time the U.S. deficit still seemed to be growing at a trillion dollars. So less ownership of U.S. Treasury from the Chinese. And remember, this has been a campaign issue even in the United States over the last several presidential elections, talking about um, U.S. debt and how much of it, frankly, is held by the Chinese as well. And it, there's Larry Fink essentially saying this is the one thing that nobody is talking about that he sees, Jamana, as something that we really, really have to start focusing on post-U.S.-China trade. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.